Welcome to this week's Let's Talk Meshings Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we highlight how to modify attributes for your source objects in PointWise from directly within the Solve panel. Here I've created a spherical source object placed within an unstructured block. I can quickly view the source's influence on the isotropic mesh prior to creating the interior volume tetrahedra by selecting the block and choosing Size Field from the Examine menu. The Size Field shows how the spherical source will refine the grid spacing for any tetrahedra it encloses. You can modify these settings within the Attributes tab of the Solve panel for unstructured blocks. Select a block, and from the Grid menu, choose Solve. Navigate to the Attributes tab, and expand the source's frame. This frame provides users a mechanism for toggling any individual sources which overlap the boundary box of the currently selected unstructured block or blocks on and off. By default, these sources are enabled as indicated by the checkbox in the Use column of the table shown. Additionally, users can toggle all sources on and off by using the Ignore All Sources option provided. The Calculation pull-down menu gives you four options for how local spacing is calculated. Minimum Distance, Inverse Distance, Blend Distance, and Minimum Value. Sources are converted to point clouds for influence on isotropic cells and unstructured blocks, and this calculation setting determines how the local spacing value is determined from these cloud points. You can reverse the orientation of any selected sources or interactively edit a source's beginning and ending spacing by using the Start Interactive Edit button. In the table below, users can also apply target grid spacings, decay factors, and distribution types for each source listed. For the block I have selected, if I change the distribution type to constant and update the spacing, then I can re-examine the updated size field to visualize how these changes influence the grid for my selected block prior to creating the interior volume cells. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.